Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen Dolan. I am the Director of External Affairs for United Way of the Desert, which means I am the person who makes sure that our story gets out into the community, um, that our PR is taken care of, and also I raise the money uh, so that we can do all of the wonderful things in the community that we do. I'm going to go uh, to my college career. When I was in college, um, I was actually a DJ on the radio. Um, I'd been doing that since high school. And uh, I was at the radio station one day and my boss said to me, you know, well, what are you, what are you doing in college? What do you want to do? And I was like, oh, I want to, I want to be on the radio. So I have a communications degree. And he was like, but you are on the radio. So maybe you pick something else. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. Um, I went to graphic design um, and loved it, loved the art part of it. Um, but I ended up taking a psychology class on a whim. Um, I needed to fill another, um, another three credits in my summer courses to get financial aid. And so I was like, fine, I'll take psychology. And I loved it. Um, so I ended up graduating with my degree in psychology um, with the thought that I was going to go on to be a therapist. I was going to um, continue on, but my love of radio stayed with me. And I was on the radio for almost 14 years in Pennsylvania, in Florida, in South Florida, and Miami, and out here in the Palm Springs area um, from 2010 until about 2013. So it was an amazing career, um, but every day I kind of cursed my student loans. Um, like, why did I get this psychology degree? I'm not even using it. Um, until that faithful day when I wasn't working in radio anymore um, and I found myself, uh, due to budget cuts, needing a new job. Um, thankfully, I saw the writing on the walls and I had started reaching out um, to the community and saying, you know, I kind of want to get involved in the nonprofit field. Um, what's your favorite one? And at the time, uh, a lot of people kept saying safe house of the desert. So I ended up, because I had my psychology degree, uh, becoming the peer, uh, peer program coordinator for the Cup of Happy program, which teaches high school kids um, and some in college about mental health resources and that it's okay to ask for help and destigmatizing mental health. Um, so because that degree ended up coming in handy, uh, I did that for a few years and then I became the anti-human trafficking director for Safe House of the Desert and for Operation Safe House. I've worked with the Riverside County Anti-Human Trafficking Task Force. Um, thankfully, my radio career prepared me for the many years I would be doing public speaking here in the desert um, and all across the country. I've spoken at different events. Um, I can speak off the cuff. It really doesn't take much to get me going on a topic. Uh, and it's, it's come in handy uh, both in advocating for people who needed mental health resources, in advocating um, for victims and survivors of human trafficking and of kids who have experienced abuse and crisis. And now I've taken all of that with me. Um, I ended up getting a job with uh, United Way of the Desert back in 2017. And I started out as the communications director and uh, worked on our story. And how do, we, how do we talk about this in the community? How do we talk about poverty and the way that people need help? Uh, and now I am the director of external affairs. So I've, I've really taken this um, odd path. If somebody had told me when I was on the radio, hey, someday you're going to be helping people who are involved in um, human trafficking, I'd be like, you are bonkers. And I don't even know what you're saying right now. Um, but the thing is, Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Gilbert has a talk. I think it was during like Oprah's conversations. And she talks about there are jackhammers and there are hummingbirds. And the jackhammers know exactly what they want to do their whole lives. They, you know, if somebody knows that they want to be a therapist and they knew it from the time they were young and they go through school and they're like, yes, this is still what I want to do. You're a jackhammer kind of person and you're just going to keep going and going and going and you're going to love it. And then there's hummingbirds like me. 
And the hummingbirds, we tend to take a bunch of skills that we learn along the way and figure out how to create our next opportunity, our next job, our next space in the world where we're able to use all of the skills that we love and bring it to new people. And that's kind of, um, I think, where the moral of my story is that uh, and it could be yours too. With careers not being linear, you get to pick up these amazing skills along the way, doing things you never thought you would do. And someday it can turn into being the person who gets to help people, help change people's state of mind, help advocate for your entire community and raise money so that other people can help do those jobs as well. Um, so whatever you're planning on doing, uh, no matter who you are, uh, you can take all the skills you have with you into your next place. Mm -hmm.